What's up guys, it's Travis. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Bitcoin is breaking $60,000 right now and there's a lot going on in the markets and there's a lot of things that I wanna talk about in today's video, including um, macro, Bitcoin price action, sovereign. And so there's gonna be a few things that I wanna to talk to you guys about today, keep you updated. Um, and this is my second video in 2024. Uh, this must be a having year or something. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys get value from today's video. If you do, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so there's two things going on right now in, in Bitcoin land that I think could be a very strong possibility. So we're either going to see a pretty significant pullback here pretty soon, or we're going to just keep pulling. We're just gonna keep going up and up. And there's two reasons for this. So, um, first of all, retail is hurting really bad right now. And you can see that in the credit market. It's it's getting pretty scary out there. And you can see that in asset prices, like uh, autos usually are the first things, or one of the first things to fall. Um, but then you're also seeing food prices rise. Uh, housing is kind of staying stagnant. It's coming down a little bit, which is surprising for being spring. And uh, while all the all the while stocks just keep going up and up, and I think part of this has to do with people um, trying to make a little bit of extra money. I actually think that's a big part of it. I think people are putting money into the stock market because they're looking for any extra way to make a little extra money, and so they're getting side jobs, they're investing, doing whatever they can just to get by, and so. This puts us in a really dangerous position because if the credit market collapses or just gets wrecked, um, people are going to need liquidity and so they're going to go to dollars. And so that has been my thesis for the last few months and I was expecting a pullback here in Bitcoin um, in like March, April, May time frame. And there's a few reasons for that. There's tax season. Back over history, you'll see prices usually drop at rate cuts because usually if there is a rate cut, there's a reason for that. And, and usually that means there's a lot of pain in the markets. And so I believe personally that there's gonna be a black swan event and the Fed is creating that. And I actually put this on my Twitter. I said that um, the Fed won't allow themselves to be blamed for this. They will let some sort of black swan happen where they're going to come in and save the day. That's my thesis. That's what I believe is going to happen. I don't know when that's going to be, and I don't know if Bitcoin keeps running. That's my first thesis. The other side of this coin is the fact that you have the ETFs, demand is insane, and you have the richest people in the world that have a um, broader view of what's going on with money because they have so much of it. The big thing for me is I was thinking about gold prices earlier. So I was taking a look at what happened in 2008, the great financial crisis. And you can see in 2007, we kind of like peaked out here. We had a little pullback here, retested or whatever, and then we just kept going up. We're close to hitting all time highs. And so we may see some sort of pullback and then continuation, but it's hard to say. So I'm gonna go over to my Twitter right now and I wanna talk a little bit about what's going on with Sovereign specifically and um, why I'm so excited about it. So uh, first off, if, you got, if you're not following me already, my Twitter handle is trades underscore Travis. And I talk a lot about crypto. Obviously, that's pretty much all my crypto or all my Twitter. So something that's going on with Sovereign right now is they are starting a marketing campaign for this airdrop that's happening. Um, so if you're not following Sovereign, I highly recommend it. They have so much stuff going on and it's really hard to keep up. So the last thing I want to talk about with Sovereign and the reason why I'm so excited about it is because They've got some marketing going on right now, but it hasn't really officially been announced yet until after the meeting. So by starting now, you get in a little early and you get started on doing a lot of uh, a lot of things with Sovereign and boosting your points, um, which is going to be huge. I mean, we've seen airdrops, the farming and stuff that goes on in the rest of the crypto market. I think this is going to be really cool for Sovereign and for Bitcoin DeFi as a whole. So what is this airdrop opportunity that I'm talking about? Sovereign goes more into this and they have a thread here on their um, Twitter. Like I said, you should go check it out. 
Let me just read. Taproot Assets Protocol for Beginners. A transformative layer on Bitcoin enabling the issuance of digital assets. A blend of stability and innovation. This protocol secures assets directly to Bitcoin's robust base layer. Taproot Assets harness the power of the Lightning Network facilitating low cost, high speed transactions. From stable coins to unique collectibles. Asset transfer is now near instantaneous and more affordable than ever. The alpha release of Taproot Assets by Lightning Labs, formerly known as Taro, marks a significant step forward. It's a leap from concept to reality, laying the groundwork for a versatile Bitcoin ecosystem. Taproot Assets embed metadata within Bitcoin UTXO's unspent transaction outputs allowing multiple assets to be managed in a single transaction, reducing the on-chain footprint and optimizing efficiency. The protocol builds upon the 2021 Taproot upgrade, enhancing Bitcoin scalability and privacy. It's the fusion of innovation with the trust and security that Bitcoin is renowned for. With a Taproot Assets client, issuing digital assets is as secure as Bitcoin itself. Once confirmed on the base layer, these assets join the immutable ledger for eternity. In collaboration with Lightning, Taproot Assets opens a new avenues for payments and transactions in TAP-based assets. It's the next evolution of Bitcoin's practicality and usability. Explore the Taproot Assets universe, a detailed database of assets and transactions, ensuring transparency and traceability outside the traditional block explorer. Taproot Assets not only expand Bitcoin's utility, but also does so with the minimal impact on the blockchain, providing privacy and scalability while fostering new use cases. The reliance on off-chain data management is a hurdle yet to be surmounted, requiring either self-management or trust in third-party services. Bitcoin's potential is unleashed with Taproot Assets, more use cases mean more reasons to engage with Bitcoin and Bitcoin OS and Sovereign. We're at the frontier of Bitcoin's promising future. Dive into the new era of digital assets with Sovereign's token and be among the first to participate in a Taproot Assets sale. The future is here and Bitcoin secures it. Find the full beginner's guide here. So like I said guys, there's some big things coming with Sovereign. You need to be paying attention to it. There's an airdrop coming. So head on over to Twitter, go check out Sovereign, and read this article for yourself. And like I said, if you guys are interested, I do have a referral link down below. It helps me out, so if you guys wouldn't mind using that, I'll leave that down below for you guys. See you later, guys.